Sunshine, but you just dump a PBR over the balcony. That's right. Now entering the ring, fighting out of the red corner. Weighing in at 150 pounds. Fighting out of elite boxing and fitness and trained by Paul Luck. Let's hear it for Lisa, the Warrior Di Francesco. All right, again, if you, if, if you have a Haymakers event, someone's coming out to HCDC. But it's like 75% Brian Johnson, 25% Bon so, Scott. I was going to say the same. Solid choice. Yeah. When you're the warrior. Yeah, shooting at the, the walls of Harding. Patty Smythe, yeah. scandal. Yeah. Bang, bang, I'm the warrior. Guys at home, just let us know if you want us to sing over any of these things. You know, we can do it. Please welcome fighting out of the blue corner. Weighing in at 145 pounds, representing out of the way, and trained by Brandon Montella. Let's hear it for Colleen Mountain Lion Murphy! Oh. oh, done. Over the mountain. Ozzy Osbourne, uh, Dire talk, Madman. You're talking second album. I already like this chick. You're talking Randy Rhodes, absolutely killing it. Oh my God, yes. I have goosebumps. This is this is why we come here. So I'll also say, I just saw this woman warming up. I was yeah, kind of uh, ripping the back. This is our fifth old. bout Could of the evening. A hundred percent. Total going, badass, going to rob right? you at the end of this for no, no no other reason than she can. You got Brandon Montella in the corner from the way. Brandon Montello is one of those double threats. He was an unbelievable professional boxer. There's plenty of pro boxers that don't transition to coaches. The dude is awesome in the corner. Like we, we talk about him all the time. We don't we don't talk about a lot of coaches, but he's super even keeled. He knows how to run a haymaker's corner. He's also just one of those guys that's the rear uh, a perfect balance between he's just like such a badass and also just the, the nicest, nicest guy of all the time. The nicest yeah. dude. Um, this could be interesting. Watching both of them warm up and watching their montage video, it looked like the boxing might be a bit more polished. I don't. Who's Mark? Who's Montella's girl? Colleen Murphy. 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 She's got like a little pep in her step, a little kick. Uh, she might be uh, the surprise of the night. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, great long ones and twos, aggressive boxing out the gate. So what I already like about this bout is that you see tremendous output, right? And, and, and incredible tenacity, but at range. Clean, punching, boxing at range with volume. And now one thing that might be the difference we're gonna see is how much, how much defensive fundamentals they have in their toolbox here, right? Because right now it's ones and twos, right? Some are finding their marks, some are missing, right? Um, it looks like Murphy's going to the body a little bit. In this case, uh, from that distance, I actually don't love it. I'd like to see her just kind of stick with her ones and twos on the outside. Uh, make sure she gets her head across on that right she hand. Good snappy jab uh, by Murphy for sure. W one thing that we always caution, uh, Murphy uh, is in the blue corner with the red headgear. Sometimes it makes it a little challenging for judges in a very, very, very close fight. Again, we got the best LBC in the business, but they're still human. One consideration, though, as you mentioned all the time, Masters Division headgear is hard to come by. Super hard it's to come by. It's always sold out, so sometimes red is what's in stock. Yep. I'd like to see Murphy circle to her right. I think this, again, so far is an absolute coin toss. It looks like uh, Lisa is a little bit... A little bit more aggressive. I think she's landing more of the shots. I'll tell you, Mur Murphy's jab is her best punch. Your jab to the head. I wish she, she's got a real good stick on that jab. 
I wish he'd follow it up. I wish he'd abandon some of that outside body work, like you said earlier. I think Di Francesco is 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 maybe inching away with this round. Um, this is not going to be an easy one to score, I don't think. Because uh, just as I think Di Francesco gets her legs about her, uh, Murphy stings her with a right hand down the pipe. I think you know what's funny. While you say. Uh, Murphy's best punch is her jab. I think the best punch we haven't seen her have success with yet is that straight right. That straight right. It's hand. missing by a hair. Super competitive first round. Uh, honestly, I don't know how to score that. If, if you if you said 10-9 for red, I'd, I'd, I'd deal with it. 10-9 for blue, I'd deal with it. I'll tell you, if I'm in the corner right now, I'd say, hey, that was a close round. You got two rounds to really close out this show. If I'm scoring that round, I am giving it to DeFrancisco. Yeah, I, I think I think I think she was she was busier. I think she landed cleaner shots. Colleen's got a great jab. We got to follow it up. We got to see something more than that. I think both of them executed their game plan brilliantly, and they're both having some success at it, right? Additionally, uh, it's almost like a Mortal Kombat mirror match, right? They both pick Sub Zero, savvy vet move, uh, and as a result, it's going to be hyper competitive, right? They're built similarly. Uh, they have, it looks like, comparable conditioning uh, and, and similar game plans. It should be interesting to see how they modify. Just looking at um, De Francisco's corner, it looked like they were alluding to some inside work, some uppercuts, some hooks, uh, and, and like we, we mentioned earlier, uh, Montello just giving him kind of some sage calm advice. Yeah, to kind of a few things here and there. He knows they're newer boxers. It is interesting that now De Francisco is going to the body, which I don't know that I would that I love. Yeah, and I'll tell you, uh, at Murphy's opening her shots a little bit, making it a little uglier. She's landing some cleaner shots now. Good right hand by uh, De Francesco there. Yeah, De Francesco got that right hand. That's yeah, good move. left hook by yeah. De Francesco as well. The one thing De Francesco tends to do well is follow the right hand with a left hand, you know? And that, that shows a true progression in boxing, right? They always say, after you throw that right hand, close your eyes and throw that left hook. They don't say that. That's a terrible advice. You know what I'm saying, though, right? To figure his beats. Yeah. yeah. Do, not, do not close your eyes, ladies and gentlemen. What you're seeing home. with Lisa is that she's she's on the inside but not smothering her punches. the exact opposite of what Lally did earlier in the night. Yeah. She's fighting inside, but she's able to land her hooks to the body, hooks to the head, overhands to the head because she's not falling into her punch. She's not blindly just run, rushing in. De Francesco has landed that clubbing right hand on a couple of occasions now. She's coming up over top, over uh, Murphy's jab, and is having some success with it. If she won a first clo close first round, I, I think she's she's really starting to pull away a little bit in this second round. Yeah, she's, again, she's competitive. changing levels beautifully. Yeah, she's a body to drop her drop Murphy's hands down, landing either an overhand or a hook to the head. And one thing I mentioned earlier, it did appear that their condition was comparable. I have to imagine that Di Francesco appears at this point to be a little bit more fit, whether it's nerves, whether it's having success with body work, or just being in better shape. She she appears to be the fresher of the two fighters. Yeah, great adjustments by Di Francesco. Again, it's big shots to the body to drop Murphy's hands to land something to the head. Real, real, real uh, strong round by Di Francesco. Again, if the first round was a coin flip, um, you got to tell Murphy, hey, we're probably down at least one. You got to put some, uh, you got to put some stink on your shots right now. And on the flip side of that, if you're in De Francisco's corner, you can't tell her, hey, great yeah, round. Coast. You yeah. got to say, hey, dude, you, you you might be one one here, right? Yep. Uh, and and the way amateur boxing scored, both those rounds are going to be 10-9 rounds. If you lose a close round, you lost a close Correct. round. Yeah. So. Um, while I do believe Dean Francisco did enough in that first round to take it, uh, I'm not a judge, all right? Um, I just call it like I see it. Um, again, it looks like yeah, elite. elite, elite, elite yeah, elite is, it's, it's exactly, he's, he's saying right now, like, set up your shots downstairs, yeah. land something clean upstairs, you know? And a very, very, very successful game plan for that second round. Yeah, if you look at him again, he's staying tight. He's, uh, uh, Paul Locke has his elbows tucked, throwing Tight uppercuts and hooks in the pocket. Sue Bader, another uh, Haymakers alum. Sue Bader has a, a victory over a gold medalist. An Olympian. An Olympian. The most decorated Olympian. Uh, who, uh, what I have in common with uh, that decorated Olympian is neither one of us could beat, beat Sue, Sue Bader, Bader yeah. in a boxing match. And another one, of uh, uh, one of our Haymaker alum. Kim Lippman. Kim Lippman. One of my favorite people on the planet. I was in that corner for that night. I was too. We lost our composure, if we're being honest. Yeah, we yeah, yeah. We lost our mind. Well. 
Uh, we are sore winners, and I'm not going to apologize for it. Kim, so, always nice seeing you. Back to action in the ring, uh, taking uh, essentially picking up exactly where we left off, where DeFrancesco is pressing the action. Uh, and Murphy's not content in losing this fight. No. She is absolutely put, putting hands on DeFrancesco. I just don't know that she has enough tools to close out. Great boxing by Murphy, but again, I just don't think it's enough. Uh, uh, two overhand rights really got Murphy's attention there. Yeah, DeFrancisco yeah. has some thunder in that right hand. And again, it's, it, it's a funny punch, and, and I know you'll know what I mean. Where you see it coming, and you know exactly you, where you it's going to get out of the way. You can't get out of the way for yeah. whatever reason. It's landing right on the side, and it's nothing Murphy's doing wrong, but if you look, that just overhand, just that clubbing meat fist of a right hand. Murphy's still giving good account of herself, snapping the head back with a jab, finding success with that right hand, but is it enough? I think it might be a little too little too late. Um, I just, sometimes you have that one punch out power, right, where you can erase your opponent and change the dynamic of the fight. I don't know that Murphy possesses that yeah, type of and, knockout and, power. Yeah, and Lisa, maybe Lisa doesn't have that one punch stopping power, but man, she's, she's got some bricks in her hands. Yeah, and, and she can even... Regardless, it, that attrition style beatdown, it's definitely it's definitely adding up this late in the fight. Murphy showing the heart of a champion. Yeah, right? great boxing. I, I don't think it was enough to take, but I mean like, oh my god, like talk about something to be proud of. She she wasn't content coasting on that last round. She was closing out that show. I I think Easily to the second and third round for Di Francesco. I think you got to give her the fight. The the first round I thought was very close. Probably still lean Di Francesco. Uh, Di Francesco. Um, great account by both boxers. Excellent, excellent showing by both boxers. Yeah, I, no I shame there. Read. I thought it was uh, well coached on both sides. I thought both boxers were well prepared, and I think Di Francesco just happened to have uh, the edge for whatever reason. She had a little bit more success finding that right hand, uh, finishing her combos with that left hook. Uh, both fit. De Francisco maybe just a hair fitter, right? Um, great fight. And again, it, it should be noted that regardless of the outcome, uh, Colleen Murphy had the banger of the night. Yeah, over the mountain. Let's go. Mountain line over the mountain. Yeah. Dude. You're just putting two, to, two and two together now. Look, dude, Jesus. they don't pay me to crunch numbers. Imagine back having here, dude. not not just share a seat with this kid, but share a womb with them. Have identical DNA. Maybe they should come out to White Line when the children cry. That's only did what, what else did they do? Uh, wait, wait. That's why I never got a chance. Yeah, yeah terrible song. Um, no, what? Did they do? Um, did they cover Radar Love? Who's that? Uh, that no, was, is no, that them? That was, that was White Lime. Sometimes you can't improve in perfection, though. Relax. With the yeah, wait is a great right song. Fans great song. Official some decision noise coming up for the again. Ladies I got it red. Bringing you bell to bell action. After three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a unanimous decision, declaring your winner out of the red corner, Lisa the Warrior DeFrancesco. All right, so DeFrancesco, it should be noted, was not breathing heavy during that. Yeah. Did you see that? I mean, I'm, I, again, these are masters boxers. 46 years old, I get off the couch and I grab a tonic and I'm exhausted. When Mark gets into my truck, uh, driving American truck, big American truck, no big deal. Uh, he 